Well, we got our delivery. This is going to be all of our barn. Everything except for the metal. Yeah, all right, I've never so seen them do this. I just this over here is the out. barn structure. And we got the McCoy's driver who's about to drop off our materials. And then we'll have Fidel come by one day this week and we'll start putting it all together. That's how it works. How about that? There it is. Yes, sir. We are back for day number two of our barn construction project. I am bringing a generator. We don't have power over here. So neither this garage and of course the barn, the new barn doesn't have power. So in the future, I'll have to find a way to run electricity out here. All right, we are here at Longhorn Lester's. They have still not started the pond yet. We're still waiting on the rest of the entrance. Let me show you though, what my plans are for putting these two eight foot gates. I have to have a way to get the cows, uh, the horses or whatever, my tractor, my lawnmower from one side to the other. And so I have to put an eight foot gate between these two. And that way when I'm working in whatever pasture, I can go back and forth without having to go all the way up, all the way around, all the way back. And then coming all the way back is a problem because there's a small creek over here. All right, progress on the barn. It's coming along. Fidel has no fear. I don't like it. He sends me off on little missions. I am truly the go fur. I go fur stuff. Hey, buddy. He just walks around, no safety belt, no safety harness, no nothing. He just falls and gets up and keeps going. Yeah. He oh he has something. He has the trees, like a monkey, huh? Oh the Lord. He has God. So God watches over him while he works. You know, I can't get up there. Y'all know that, right? Oh, well, here we go. Could this be Fidel's safety net? I have never been heckled so much in all of my life. Seriously. I have never been heckled so much in all of my life. Well, hey folks, Lester here. And do you want to know the neatest thing about living in the year 2022? The technology. Let me show you something. Every time I do this, I know my grandfather just rolls in his grave. about the old timers y'all before this kind of technology look at here move chickens oh sheesh all right now that all of that is set up guys today i'm on my way to get metal for our barn over at longhorn lusters so this is the location where we come to buy our sheet metal these guys have it all sorted and stacked out in different sizes. And then, of course, you tell them if you want it by certain colors. We always buy ours just a gavelume because if we want it painted, we can paint it later. All right, we are all loaded down. We got the straps on. We are ready to head up to Longhorn Luster. So I had to drive all the way into Houston to get the metal that I wanted for the barn. You guys know that um, the metals they sell at places like Home Depot's and McCoy's is not the highest grade of metal. And it, the stuff is actually, feel, it feels like it's paper thin. 
And we made that mistake, the first barn that we built, the one that Jamie and I built together, and we learned our lesson from that. So we'd rather pay a little bit more and drive a little bit further to get good quality metal that's going to last a lifetime. Because the yeah, stuff that we bought, I forgot how they grade metal, but there's a certain number they put on it uh, as far as the thickness goes. And um, yeah, we like to use the good stuff because we've used cheaper and we've always come to regret it later. All right, we have arrived. I uh, got all the metal. Now all we need is a weekend and a Fidel. All right, go ahead. Lex is going to be brave enough to try out this ladder, this old step ladder that we've discovered. See how he does before I try it. Try to feel each step to see if it's wobbly or solid as you keep going down. And I wouldn't trust that handrail right there. It looks like it's about to fall off behind you. I worry about him doing this. You know, the problem with him is he has no fear. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I don't worry as much about going up as I do about coming back down. All right, well, he got up with no problem. Now the coming down part. There he is. determined to make this climb Jamie and I did it oh lord oh lord I love him but shh. he is such a daredevil oh my goodness oh my god Oh my God, son, you did it! Now don't fall off the ledge. Do not fall off the ledge. So we're about at the midway point here. This is where it gets real treacherous. Now, obviously, there's a long ways down, but it's not quite the same incline. Jamie, look how pretty the grass is coming out over there. Beautiful. Hey, folks. Lester here. And if I look like my face is blistered, well, it's because it actually is. You all don't know what an ordeal I just went through. I am coming to you live on location here at Longhorn Lester's. And I have done something very foolish. I started the fire. Morning folks, Lester here with uh, Jake and Jamie. And we are headed back you to. You see where I stand, right? I moved to the back <laughs> seat. We are headed back to Longhorn Lusters. Uh, Jamie and Jake refused to let me go alone after the fiasco that happened yesterday. <laughs> so we're headed back up today. We're going to do the seating that we had planned to do yesterday, and then uh, Jake's going to help me with a little tractor work. And uh, and I have it's nice to know I have great backup. Yeah. All right, everyone. Be patient. I am trying to open up something we got in the mail today that says live plants. And I have no idea. Like, send me a favor. Uh, oh. Oh my goodness. Look, Lux. They're live plants. They are literally live plants. Babe, I think this is that. Asian jasmine. It looks like it. Ooh, it does sure look like it. It does look. Yeah. So nobody, there's not a name of who sent it. Oh, they're wrapped in their sun. You can't oh. take them out. Let me see. Yeah, they actually are. 
It comes from Home Depot. All right, I think I got all I need. I got my waters, batteries. I got the plants that we were gifted. This is the Asian Jasmine. I got my seed spreader. I got seed. I got my ladders. I got a tool for trimming. And of course, last but not least, I got my special girl. You ready, love? Let's get out of here, huh? All right. Y'all watch this. This is really cute. There we go. All right. We're off. <laughs> she holds my hand while we're driving. So everyone knows I'm supposed to be the gopher. But I told Fidel I can't carry metal and video at the same time. So he has to make a decision. I said, do you want to be in the video or do you want to make the video? And he says he wants to be in the video. Oh, see. Sí. He likes to be in the videos. So I'm like, okay, fine. Well, you just made my life a lot easier. I can sit here and make a video and not have to do any work. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go take care of these little limbs and get them out of our way. Because there's no way to be putting up this metal with all of this mess here. Folks, this place is hustling and bustling. You got Mr. Dub and a friend of his. You got Jeff Rowe, the fellow's name. They're loading up equipment. Got a trailer full of things to haul off to Alabama tomorrow. Over here on the other side, you got Fidel. He's putting the screws into the metal on the barn. Lester here is laying out and planning my next piece of fence. This is going to be the piece of fence that will finally enclose the cows into this section. Uh, the pond guys, have, they're not here today. I am just trying to make sure that I put these flags. Trying to make sure everything is nice and straight without running me a string line right now. So yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on today. As if things were not hectic enough. Look who's showing up now. Jamie is coming by to do an inspection to make sure that I'm actually working. Goosebumps on my arms. But I tell you what, my hair just grew an inch. I kid you not, my hair on, on my head just grew an inch because there's something freaky right there at the bottom of that tree. Uh, I don't want to be scared of Longhorn Lusters. Oh, sheesh. What in the world is that? He's looking right at me, and he has a mean look on his face. Scared of, listen, I, I'm not scared of any living thing. I'm scared of those creatures like that, little munchkins that just sit there. These, now see, I'm not scared of stuff like this. I have anxiety. Is it weird to y'all that a grown man would leave the lights to the garage on and I'm terrified? I don't know if I'll sleep a wink tonight. All right, you guys try to ignore the chainsaws in the background, but I want to show you what I'm really excited about. And I know there's going to be a whole lot of anticipation of if Lester's plan works out or not. But we've gotten all the metal on the barn. Fidel did an amazing job at creating just a really solid, I mean a rock solid barn here. Now, you guys know that we've had a little bit of a disagreement not just Jamie and I, but even you and I, many of you and I, because I want to try an experiment. And we're going to start off the little pole barn experiment by creating stalls. Eight stalls for a potential eight longhorns. You like that, Jake? Yeah, I've never seen that neither. That's, That's new for you, cool. huh? Longhorn Lester's. Now, you know what people are going to freak out about, Jake? Hmm. Because in that sign, it shows you some animals that we've not talked about coming to Longhorn Lester's yet. 
<laughs> Everyone, obviously you see the longhorn, you see the longhorn in the middle, but you also see a horse over on one side and you see an ostrich on the other. And so I might as well go ahead and let you guys know now that uh, there will be more than just longhorns here. you see them bubbles? That is a chemical reaction that has to happen to make your concrete harden the way you want it to. And if you just pour concrete into that hole and you don't allow that chemical reaction to happen, then you're just pretty much putting sand in that hole. Sand and a little bit of gravel. Thing about working with concrete is you can always come by and write something in it that will last a lifetime.